I'm gonna show this property to one of the viewers. Yeah, one of you have reached out and wants to see a property for their legacy portfolio, $50 million budget. So I can't help you with this one, but for everything else, you can reach out to me. I critique mansions. I tell you three things I like about it, three things I don't like about it in a short three minute video. So you can binge watch them after each other. And in today's episode, we're gonna review 642 Sienna Way, five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 11,000 square foot, listed for $45 million. And it sits on a lot that is just about two and a half acres, 104,311 square feet. Now, before I tell you three things I love about this property, the content of this video is purely my personal opinion. It's for educational entertainment purposes only. Real estate analysis is subjective in nature and I don't guarantee the accuracy of information. For all that stuff, you can contact the listing agent. Three things I love about this property. The third thing I love about this property is lot utilization. This property opens up the dictionary, looks at the word lot utilization and sees its own picture in there. That's how good it is because you have the approach, you have the private driveway, you have a freaking tennis court for your side yard, you have a massive backyard, you have like one neighbor really. I mean, where are your neighbors? That, you remember that house that sold for like 24 million was on the market for ages and I have multiple videos on it? That's like your guest house. <laughs> It's ridiculous, okay? And this is the big papa, beautifully located, and it sits on the lot like a queen. The second thing I love about this property is the volume and scale for an older property. Look at this, this is not brand new construction, but they managed to build it out in the right dimensions, right ceiling heights, right volumes. It just old money, and it's just beautifully scaled for comfort and ultra luxury. Now, the number one thing I love about this property, I mean, there's so many items here. We can talk about south facing, east facing, views, golf course, but it's effectively the location on a name street with many, many, many good comps and also super, super private. Now, before I tell you three things I don't like about this property, I want you to slap yourself in the face right now. And if you haven't followed the channel, that's why. But if you have followed, I still want you to slap yourself one more time because you need to wake up and know the truth about this property. Three things I don't like about this property. The third thing I don't like about this property is price. Now, I can't go too much in this one because I want to show this property to a client, but 45 ain't it, okay? The second thing I don't like about this property is bish udallare. And if you don't know what that means, it's because you don't follow the channel. In Turkish, it means five bedrooms. Look, 45 million, five bedrooms. What is that? Nine million a bedroom. I know you don't calculate it that way, but it puts things in perspective. Look, it's an older house. The property right below you, brand new construction sold for 24. And I know this one is a lot better, but come on, 45, eh, eh, we're not there. The number one thing I don't like about this property is the finishes. Look, this is a little bit tough because, okay, fine. You can do the finishes, but 11,000 square foot for a lot this good, you're really leaving money on the table because this property, you can put 25,000 square foot on it and somebody would buy it. So not maxing it out is not the best financial decision. Now, if you're buying a property for your legacy and you just wanna have the comfort and you don't want the square footage and the, uh, the headaches with it, then it's perfect, just renovate it, maybe add a basement. And the other question is, how much square footage can you even add after this whole uh, ordinance that passed in the city? Are you maxed out forever? So that's another question that you have to answer. Now, if you want me to help you out with pricing other properties, feel free to reach me out. I happen to know how to buy properties. I even have a mansion in my office, if that's not enough. If you like this video, you will like one of these videos. And thanks for subscribing. Tell me in the comments how much you think this property is worth. I want to know what you guys think.